Yo, what's up guys? This is Adrian Boysell. Sorry if I'm talking a little funny today. I actually have these aligners in from Smile Direct Club. I've been uh, trying to take care of my teeth and they're not the straightest. So if I'm talking a little funny, I apologize, but uh, I'm gonna do my best today to show you this quick tutorial on how to make a cool banner design in Adobe Illustrator. Now we're gonna make this super quick. I did a little bit of research in advance to this in terms of talking with the client of what they want. So I kind of already have a clear direction, but you need to kind of plan and prepare what the direction is you're gonna go with your stuff yourself. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So what we're gonna do first is I have the logo for the company here. These are their official logos that we actually redid. Thanks to my friend, David Soto, I already have these logos designed. We, he and I collaborated on this together. And if you look at this here, I'm gonna show you, this is Garden of Eden. So this is the company. You can see some of their looks of their store, salad wraps and more. Really neat, they got this kind of metal. Um, they have the wood, they use a lot of wood. It's kind of this rustic, distressed looking wood, which I really, really like. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna go find some of the distressed wood. Now I did do a little bit of research already trying to find some, and I felt like this was pretty close. Um, let me see here, let me just go back in here and type in wood table. Let's see if I can find something that looks even closer. This is also pretty decent, but it doesn't have as much detail as what they have in their store. So I wanna find something a little bit more textured, a little bit more a little busier than uh, than that. So let's just see if we can find something. This has some good detail in it. I think this gets it across. Now we're getting even closer here, but I need kind of this direction. So I think this is a nice dark wood. I really like that. I think it will stand out nicely. Um, so let me go ahead and pull this one up and see if I can find some stuff that's similar. Say so I'm more from series, right? We can find similar. This one's good, but I feel like it's gonna take away from the logo. So we wanna take that into consideration. So let's just do this one here. So we're gonna go ahead and license this. This is on Adobe stock. You can license this if you have a Adobe stock membership, you get credits every month. Perfect, so I've licensed this one. Now I'm gonna download it. There it is, it's already here. And that's a JPEG. So what I need to do first is I need to go over to Adobe Illustrator and create a new document. So command N or control N if you're on a PC. And since this banner is, I'm gonna do an eight foot by three foot. So 96 inches wide by 36 inches tall. So there we go. And then I can go ahead and keep this at 300. Here we go. All right, so this is now at 11%. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place, I'm gonna go file, place. I'm gonna place that background image that I downloaded into here. I gotta figure out where that went. Where did that download to? There it is. So I'm in my downloads, I'm gonna drop this in here. Let's drop it in. Scale this up, hold down shift if you wanna scale it proportionally, which I would recommend. There we go. And then what I can do is I can mask this. So you see this little mask? You can either mask or you can crop it. I'll probably just crop it. Hit OK. I'm gonna bring this in right to the edge. There we go. That one looks like it's already maybe at the edge. Yeah, it's already at the edge. Hit apply. Okay, so this is the banner size now. I probably wanna recenter this a little bit. So what I'm gonna do here is since I cropped it, I'm gonna have to go back. Whoops. Go back and I'm gonna center this first before I crop it. There we go. Just so the darkness is the same on, on both sides. And now I can go crop, bring this in. It's gonna give you that little dialogue. Just drag that in to that line, drag this into this line. Perfect, there we go. Okay, now what I need to do is take the logo. So I have both of these logos. The one I'm gonna use here for this dark background is I want the slogan on here. Command Control C and then Control V or Command, whatever type of device you're on. Make sure that this logo is big enough because I also need to put opening soon. I think this is because the banner is so big, I think it's gonna be easy to see, but the most important thing that I want on this banner is the opening soon or coming soon. There we go, so I highlighted that text. I'm gonna go ahead and center it. I'm gonna make it bigger. So I'm gonna go to my text tool right here. We're gonna make this thing like at least 72, but we're gonna go ahead and size this up. Let's say like 272, let's go to that. 872, there we go. And then we're gonna use the same type of font that we did above, Montserrat, but I use Montserrat alternates. So we're gonna use a nice bold font, black right there. And then I can make it smaller, so I can go like 772. And then I'm even gonna go smaller. If you hold down shift and arrow down, it'll move it a little quicker. And then I can throw an exclamation point on this. And then I can turn this into white. I think that's a little too big, a little over the top. So I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. It's so bold. There we go, I think that's about right. And then what I'll do now is I'll move this down a little bit. There we go. I'm probably gonna drop the opacity just by 10. I don't want it to be too over the top. 
and I'm going to take this logo and I'm going to size this and hit shift command, shift command O to outline everything. And then I'm going to bring this out so that it matches the same width. There we go. So everything's proportionate. Now, I don't know if this client wants to put the website address on this banner, but he sent me a mock-up um, that he did himself and I don't have it here um, on my screen to show you. Let's see here. And I think what I would like to do is I want to put this up top and then move this logo, move this logo down. That would probably look better, have the logo more centered on here. There we go. If I do this and there's the align tool, so you can go like that. So that's completely centered. Now I'd have to make the text just a little smaller. There we go. I can scoot this up now and just leave it there. And it's going to give me more room to make this logo a little bit bigger. I can scoot this down a little bit more and I can scoot this down a little bit more. I think that's a really good size. People are going to see that. What I want to do though, is I'm going to duplicate this layer. And I'm going to turn it into one solid object. So we're going to go ahead to the Pathfinder tool. You're going to hit Unite. See how everything turned green. We're going to take this, we're going to flip it. So we're going to add this as a stroke, and then we're going to use this green as the fill again. And then I'm going to do a stroke of about five. Okay. And then what you need to do is you need to go over to your stroke tool right here and put the stroke on the outside. It's going to thicken up the letters. And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing and why here in just a second. I have it at six. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to hit object, path, outline, stroke. There we go. I think it's going to need to be more than five. So let's go back before I make that final. Just go to 10. Just double that up a little bit. Then we're going to go up object, path, outline, stroke. And there we go. And then I'm going to go back to my Pathfinder tool down here. We're going to hit Unite again. It's going to make this bold. You can see it's starting to get kind of bold. And now I have this here. And then I'm going to take my eyedropper tool and just sample something in the background, something that's dark. There we go. And then I can take this and drag this right over the top of this. And then I'm going to use command or control and the little arrows next to the P, uh, the little brackets. And I'm going to actually drop this behind it. So now I'm going to drop this down. There we go. See how that pops out? It stands out a lot more. So I think this is going to be good to go. I don't know if I'm going to do that on the coming soon because it's so white and vibrant and, and easy to see already. So I think we're just going to stick with this. Uh, go ahead and outline that. Anytime you want to outline, use shift command O or shift control O, depending on what kind of device you're on. And then this should be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and send this off to the client. What you want to make sure you do as well, I'm going to hit command R, control R and show my rulers. You want to make sure that you have enough of a gap, enough of a bleed area, top and bottom around the banner so that nothing is getting cut off. Obviously, I gave myself a lot of breathing room in this because uh, I just don't want to take any chances, but you just want to make sure that you leave yourself enough space around here. You're not coming too close uh, top and bottom. So I think this looks really good. I'm going to go ahead and send this off to the client, and I hope that this banner design tutorial was helpful for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Adrian Boisel, and as always, keep looking up.